Hi, I'm Mike Hughes, and today we're going to be going over uh, phobias inside the horse trailer. Um, this is Ben. Ben has been in training with me for quite a while, and anymore he just does some exercising with me a couple days uh, during the week. So when the owners want to go out on trail rides, they can. So we're just going to use him as an example, then later on in the video, we're going to go to another horse to show you the exercises on the ground to help you solve phobias in the horse trailers with your horses. Now the phobia inside the horse trailer is it's a small space. So horses go in, they can't go forward, they can't go to the left, and they can't go to the right, especially in straight loads. Slant loads, they line up more at a slant, but still at the end, they can't go forward, they can't go left, they can't go right, they can't back up. So some horses don't want to go in to begin with, or they get really scared and nervous going into a horse trailer. That's a closed space. So that's a phobia. The other part of it is, some horses will go in and be very comfortable going in, but as soon as you start bringing up the butt bar, the butt chain, in a straight load, they will try to immediately start backing out or racing out. And in a slant load, you go to shut the center divide, and they'll try to back out before you can even get it closed. So in this case, um, we're going to start going over uh, straight loads, and you can also do this in a slant load on how to get your horse through a phobia. All right, so most of the time when we're I'm training horses, it'll be the first time that the horse has ever gone through that exercise with behavior problems or learning something new or starting to broke horse under saddle. Um, again, uh, Spin has done this many, many times. He knows how to, uh, to self-load and he knows how to uh, stay in and come out when we ask him to come out. He does not have a phobia. We're just using this as an example to begin with. And then, like I said, later on, we're gonna go through uh, other videos with another horse later in this video. Uh, to show you on the ground without the horse trailer how to start solving your uh, behavior issues on phobias. Now one thing you can do um, with any horse that has a phobia, let's say you start getting next to the horse trailer or not even up to the horse trailer and start getting really scared and nervous, you'd always, always teach them the calm down cue, which is if I put a little bit of pressure right here, the horse starts dropping their head and relaxing. Uh, the reason this works is because when we see horses are nervous, excited, scared, or higher than a kite, their heads are always going to be up here. You'll never see a horse that's scared, nervous, uh, higher than a kite, excited, with their noses down here. All right, this doesn't work that way. When they drop their heads, it's a natural relaxation for the horse. So now we can take what's natural to the horse and start teaching them, hey, I want you to relax and calm down now. So if your horses have issues uh, getting up to the trailer and not going in, but are scared getting around it, then we could always start teaching them that cue. All right, so we're going to go ahead and put spin in the trailer, then we'll show you what the butt chain is. And some of them have bars, some of them have chains, and this is for a straight load. But you could do the same thing as far as, you could do the same thing as far as a slant load goes when you go to close the center divide. So here we go. So Spin, so Spin already knows how to get into the trailer. He already knows how to self-load. So when I'm talking about the butt chain, mm -hmm. the butt chain is right here. So that's the butt chain. And what happens to some of the horses when they go to put the butt chain up is they'll try to race out because that, that, that's, they know that's their only way out is to back up. And when that butt chain goes up, they start panicking. When they can't see the butt chain, they only could feel it. So they have to learn how to come up, come off pressure from something touching them uh, behind. Um, if, they, if it's up and they start panicking, it's going to turn into a wreck. One of the other things is you don't ever want to tie your horse before putting the, into the trailer before putting the butt, butt chain up or the butt bar or the center divide because that can cause a huge wreck. The horse, they're already uh, claustrophobic and you put the, you know, time in there uh, and they go to try to back out and they can't back out, then they're going to start really panicking and really, really bad things are going to happen. I mean, they could hurt their necks, they could break their necks, they could fall down, be hung up by the lead line in the halter. Um, they could really strain themselves, they could break a leg. Um, horrible, horrible thing to do. Don't ever try to tie your horse in the trailer before getting the butt chain, butt bar up or in a slant the, uh, the center divide. So here's the butt chain right here. And what I mean by having the butt chain come up and horses start to fly out, they start lifting this up to hook it, and the horse is already trying to back out, so you have to let the butt chain go. 
what you want to do is stay in like the spin is staying in. Go ahead and click the butt chain. Go ahead and click the butt chain and then um, and then you're ready to go. Go ahead and uh, then you can go tie your horse in, close the door, and you're ready to go. All right, so we ho hope this helps, and uh, keep watching the video because we're going to have this next horse start going through exercises uh, for phobias and being enclosed in space. And it's kind of like people, too. I have a phobia. My phobia is, is caves. I don't ever go into a cave more than two or three feet. Why? Because it's closed in, and I can go in further, but what's going through my mind is, what if while I'm in that cave, part of the cave uh, collapses? Then I'm stuck. I can't get out. And it's dark. All right? So, yeah, I've got a little phobia there. So be, everybody has phobias. I don't like heights, you know, going way up in the, uh, way up high. I don't like heights. It's, it's a phobia. So we all have phobias, and we probably all need to work on our phobias. But right now we're more dealing with our horses. Uh, overcoming their phobias all right so uh, stay tuned and we'll be right back with another horse in how to start working your horse with exercises on the ground to overcome their phobias thank you and one last thing i want to add in before we go on uh, with this next video on this horse overcoming phobias through our ground exercises before you ever get to the trailer is before you take your horse out of the trailer you want to untie them which uh, spin is untied and then go ahead and undo the butt bar, but I want the horse to stay in there for another 10 or 15 seconds. Once the horse is in there for another 10 or 15 seconds, then we can go ahead and have them back out nicely and calmly and gently. So when I'm backing the horse out, especially in a straight load, I'm going to come up, I'm going to go up there, and I'm going to go ahead and just put a little bit of pressure on their tail and have them come out, just like this. So this is a preview to the full video. The full video is on my membership page. And in, so this is into the lesson a little bit. We're teaching them that it's okay for something to come up behind them. And when I put a little bit of pressure there, he'll walk forward. There's several steps before this that you want to do with your horse. We're well into the lesson with this horse right now because this is only a preview. To watch the full video, join my membership page. Um, Go to Google, type in my Q's Horsemanship Members page, and you'll be able to see the full video. This is part one. Uh, next week, we'll be coming out with part two. So right now, we're just making sure he knows how to give in the pressure. I'm going to pick up the line and have him follow the pressure up. Uh, the, the lunge line is not tied to the panel by any means. It's just looped around. Then I can start walking behind the horse a little bit, adding a little bit of pressure there, and have him take a couple of steps forward. Again, he is not tied. You wouldn't want to do this with your horse tied in case he did panic and started to pull back. Pulling back is another phobia, but we'll cover that in another video. So I'm just going to have him take a couple steps back, have him follow me. And as he starts following me, then I'm going to let go of the line and just have him come off, off the pressure and come forward. Tell him he's a good boy and pet him. Again, these are excellent exercises to go through that I show in the full video on how to teach them step by step with easy to follow methods on behavior issues, horsemanship, starting a unbroke horse under saddle, how to solve stall vices such as cribbing, weaving, and stall walking through training. So there I just had to take a couple of steps forward. That way we, he will feel the pressure and come forward. Versus I have phobias. All right, all right. So Grover did really good with that exercise. I've never done that exercise with him, but we have done a lot of basics with him before. And some of the basics you're going to want to make sure your horse knows is how to flex to the left, flex to the right, and how to disengage their hips. And again, you can see when I had this loop around, it was not tight. It was just loop. So in other words, if he started going backwards, then I can keep maybe a couple pounds of pressure on this line until he stops and he comes forward. All right, and that, that's in any case. And there's times where you saw me go behind him and had him yield his left or right hip in the direction I want him to go through, uh, go in with the lunge line. And again, if you start panicking, off, you stop the line, come back, back up a couple of steps, and restart again. 
It won't take them long before they understand that there's things on all four sides of them. And another uh, thing you can do is, of course, uh, when they feel something in the back of them, you don't want them freaking out, you can always put something, you know, level right about this height and have the horse start backing up to it. And have him back up to it when he feels it he comes forward then he's given into that pressure behind him so you'd also want to practice that exercise unfortunately we don't have anything out here today that we could do that exercise with but next week uh, stay tuned for part two on helping horses overcome their phobias that we're going to continue doing and at that time we'll have some more exercises for you to do including having something about so high where you can back your horse into and then they'll feel it on their hindquarters and come forward so we hope you enjoyed the video have a great time with your horses thank you